Chapter One of Book Three of Topics by Aristotle, translated by Octavius Owen. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Geoffrey Edwards. Chapter One of Topics Relative to the More Eligible and Better. From these things, we must consider which of two or more is the more eligible or better and this is first to be determined that we do not make those the subjects of consideration which are very remote and greatly differ from each other since no one doubts whether happiness or wealth is preferable but those which are near and about which we entertain a doubt to whether of them quotes, more should be added because we see no superiority of one to the other now in these it is clear that one or more excellencies being shown the reasoning faculty will grant that this is more eligible whichever of them happens to excel first then that which is longer in duration or is more certain is more eligible than that which is less such and that which a wise or good man would rather choose or upright law or the studious about each would prefer so far as they are such or the scientific in each genus or whatever the great number or all as in medicine or in carpentering what the greater number of physicians or all would choose or such things in short as most or all things choose for instance good for all desire what is good yet we must bring what shall be said to that which is useful but simply the better and more eligible is that which is according to the better science but to a certain one that which is according to his proper science next whatever is in genus is more eligible than that which is not in genus for instance justice than a just man for the one is in genus that is in good but the other not and the one is what is good but the other not since nothing is said to be what genus is which does not happen to be in genus thus a white man is not what colour is and similarly of the rest that also which is eligible for itself is preferable to what is eligible for the sake of something else as to be well is preferable to being exercised for the one is eligible for itself but the other for something else also what is per se than what is accidental as that friends rather than that enemies should be just for the one is eligible per se but the latter accidentally since we wish our enemies to be just from accident that they may not injure us this however is the same with what is prior to it but it differs in the mode as we desire our friends to be just for their own sake even if nothing should happen to us and they should be in india but our enemies for something else viz that they may do us no injury the cause also per se of good is preferable to the accidental cause as virtue than fortune for the one is the cause of good per se but the other accidentally also if there is anything else of the kind it will be the same too in the contrary to the eligible for what is per se the cause of evil is more to be avoided than the accidental cause for instance vice and fortune for the one is evil per se but fortune from accident the simple good again is more eligible than that which is so to a certain person as to be well than to be cut for the one is simply good but the other to some one who requires to be cut also what is naturally good is preferable to what is not naturally so as justice than a just man since the one is by nature but the other is acquired 
that also is preferable which is present with the better and more honourable as that which is present with god than with man and with the soul than with the body the property also of the better is better than that of the worse e g that of god than that of man for according to what are common in both they do not differ from each other but the one excels the other in properties whatever also is in the better or the prior or the more honourable is better as health than strength and beauty for the one is in the moist and the dry and the hot and the cold in short in those things whereof primarily the animal consists but the other in things posterior for strength is in nerves and bones but beauty seems to be a certain symmetry of the members the end also appears to be preferable to those things tending to the end and of two things that which is nearer to the end and in short what contributes to the end of life is preferable to what tends to something else as that which contributes to felicity than what tends to prudence moreover the possible than the impossible and when there are two efficients that of which the end is better the efficient however and the end we must consider from analogy when one end more surpasses another than that its own efficient cause thus if felicity more excels health than health the salubrious what is productive of felicity will be better than health for as far as felicity surpasses health so far what is productive of felicity surpasses the salubrious nevertheless health less surpasses the salubrious so that what is productive of felicity more surpasses the salubrious than does health the salubrious evidently then what is productive of felicity is preferable to health since it more surpasses the same thing once more the more beautiful per se and the more honourable and praiseworthy as friendship than wealth and justice than strength for the one are per se amongst things honourable and praiseworthy but the other not per se but on some other account since no one honours wealth for itself but for something else but friendship for itself even if nothing else should result to us from it chapter two upon the similar and super excellent moreover when two things are very like each other and we cannot perceive any superiority of the one to the other we must investigate from the consequence for whichever the greater good follows is the preferable still if the consequence be evil that which the less evil follows is preferable for both being eligible there is nothing to prevent something troublesome resulting the investigation indeed from the consequent is twofold since it follows both prior and posterior as to the learner ignorance is prior but knowledge posterior for the most part however the latter consequent is better so that we must take whichever consequent may be useful again many goods are to be preferred to fewer either simply or when some are inherent in others viz the fewer in the more it is objected if anywhere one thing is for the sake of another for both are not at all preferable to the one thus to be made well and health are not preferable to health as we choose to be made well on account of health still there is nothing to prevent things which are not good conjoined with such as are good from being more eligible as felicity and something else which is not good than justice and fortitude and the same things with pleasure rather than without pleasure and the same things with painlessness than with pain besides each thing at the time of its greatest power is more eligible as to be without pain in old age rather than in youth for it is capable of affecting more in old age 
so also prudence in old age is preferable because no one chooses the young as leaders from not deeming them prudent courage indeed is contrary for courageous energy is more necessary in youth so also temperance for the young are more burdened by desires than elderly men whatever also is useful at every time or at most times is more useful thus justice and temperance than courage for the former are always but the latter is sometimes useful again that which all men possessing we require nothing else is more eligible than that which all possessing we should require something else beside as in the case of justice and courage for if all men were just courage would not at all be useful but though all men were courageous justice would be useful further we can derive arguments from corruptions and rejections generations assumptions and contraries for those the corruptions of which are more to be avoided are themselves more eligible likewise with rejections and contraries for whether the rejection or the contrary is more to be avoided it is itself more eligible still in generations and assumptions the contrary occurs and those are more eligible whose assumptions and generations are so another place is that the nearer to the good is better and preferable also the more similar to the good as justice than a just man likewise what is more similar to the better than itself as some say that ajax was better than ulysses because he was more similar to achilles the objection to this is that it is not true since nothing prevents ajax from being more similar to achilles not so far as achilles was the best the other ulysses being indeed good yet not similar we must also see whether the similar exists in things more ridiculous as an ape is like a man when a horse is not so since the ape is not more beautiful but more similar to man again in two things if one more resembles the better but the other the worse that will be the better which more resembles the better yet this also has an objection since there is nothing to prevent the one being in a small degree similar to the better but the other being very similar to the worse as if ajax was a little like achilles but ulysses excessively like nestor also if what resembles the better is like so far as pertains to the worse but what resembles the worse so far as belongs to the better as a horse with respect to an ass and an ape to a man another the more illustrious is preferable to that which is less so likewise the more difficult for the possession of those things is dearer to us which cannot easily be obtained again the more peculiar than the more common also that which has less connection with evils for that is preferable which no molestation follows rather than that which it does follow again if this is simply better than that that which is the best in this is better than that which is the best in the other as if man is better than horse the best man also is better than the best horse and if the best is better than the best this also is simply better than that thus if the best man is better than the best horse man also simply is better than horse further those things of which our friends can share are preferable to what they cannot partake of also those which we would rather do for a friend are preferable to what we would do for any one as to act justly and to do good are preferable to seeming to do so for we rather desire to benefit our friends than to seem to benefit them but contrarily with regard to casual persons also those which are from abundance are better than such as are necessary and sometimes indeed are more eligible for to live well is better than to live merely but to live well is from the abundant and to live itself is necessary 
sometimes however things which are better are not also more eligible for if they are better it is not necessary that they should be more eligible for instance to philosophize is better than to get money yet it is not more eligible to one in want of necessaries still it is from abundance when necessaries being supplied a person procures certain other things good yet perhaps the necessary is almost preferable but that from abundance is better again that which cannot be supplied by another is better than what another may supply as justice fares with regard to courage also if this thing is eligible without that but not that without this as power is not eligible without prudence but prudence is eligible without power also if we deny one of two that the other may seem to be present with us that is the more eligible which we desire to seem present as we disclaim labour in order to appear talented again that the absence of which we reprove persons less forbearing with difficulty is more eligible and that the absence of which when it is not borne with difficulty we rather reprove is also more eligible chapter three of the more eligible continued moreover of things under the same species that which possesses its own proper virtue is preferable to what does not but when both possess it that which has it in a greater degree further if one thing causes that to be good with which it is present but another does not the efficient is preferable as what heats is hotter than what does not yet if both cause it that which causes it the more or that which renders the better and more principal thing good as if one thing causes the soul but another the body again from cases uses actions and works and these from those for they follow each other for example if justly is preferable to courageously justice also is preferable to courage and if justice is preferable to courage justly also is preferable to courageously and similarly in other things besides if of the same thing one is the greater good but the other the less the greater is preferable or if it is the good of the greater it is the greater good but also if two things are preferable to a certain thing the more eligible is to be preferred to the less eligible again that of which the excess is more eligible than the excess of another thing is itself more eligible as friendship than wealth for the excess of friendship is preferable to the excess of wealth also that which a man would rather procure through himself than which he procures through another e g friends than money again also from addition if anything being added to the same renders the whole more eligible we must be careful however lest we propose such things in which what is common is employed in one of the things added or is in some other way cooperative with it but the rest is not used nor is cooperative for example a saw and a sickle being joined by constructive art the saw when conjoined is more eligible but simply is not so again if anything being added to the less renders the whole greater likewise also from detraction for when anything being taken away from the same the remainder is less that which was taken away will be greater since what is removed renders the remainder less also if one is eligible for itself but the other on account of estimation as health than beauty now the definition of what is eligible on the score of estimation is that if no one were conscious we should not endeavour to obtain it and if one thing is eligible for its own sake and on account of estimation but the other on account of one of them only 
and that which is more honourable for its own sake is better and more eligible but that would be more honourable per se which nothing else being about to result we rather prefer for its own sake moreover we must distinguish in how many ways the eligible is predicated and for the sake of what things as for that of the profitable or the beautiful or the pleasant for whatever is useful to all or to the greater number would be more eligible than that which is not similarly so useful when however the same are present to both we must consider with which they are more present whether it be the more pleasant or the more beautiful or the more profitable again what is for the sake of the better is more eligible as what is for the sake of virtue than what is for the sake of pleasure it is the same also in the things to be avoided for that is more to be avoided which is more an impediment to the eligible as disease than deformity since disease is a greater impediment both to pleasure and probity once more from similarly demonstrating that the thing proposed is to be avoided and chosen for a thing of such a kind as that one may similarly choose and avoid it is less eligible than another thing which is eligible only chapter four of the use of these places for demonstrating what is eligible or to be avoided we must make then as we have said comparisons of things with each other the same places however are also useful for showing whatever is to be chosen or avoided for it is only requisite to take away the excellence by which one thing surpasses another for if the more honourable is more eligible the honourable also is eligible and if what is more useful is more eligible the useful also is eligible it is the same also in other things which have such a comparison still in some by making a comparison of one with the other we pronounce directly that either or that one of them is eligible as when we say that one thing is naturally but another not naturally good for what is naturally good is evidently eligible chapter five of topics pre-eminently universal from the more and greater places pre-eminently universal are to be assumed of the more and greater for when they are thus assumed they will be useful for more problems still we may render some of those we have mentioned more universal by changing the appellation in a slight degree thus what is such by nature is more such than what is not such by nature also if the one causes but the other does not cause the thing which possesses that to be such or that in which it is inherent what is sometimes the cause is more a thing of this kind than what is not the cause but if both are causes that which is rather the cause is a thing of this kind further if of the same thing one is more but another less such and if the one of a thing of this kind is more such but the other is not of such a thing such it is evident that the first is more a thing of this kind moreover from addition we may derive a topic if something being added to the same renders the whole more such or if what is added to the less such makes the whole more such likewise from detraction for that which being taken away the remainder is less such is itself more such also things which are more unmixed with contraries are more such as that is whiter which is more unmixed with black besides what has been said before there is that which is more recipient of the proper definition of the thing proposed as if the definition of whiteness be colour separating the sight that is more white which is more colour separating the sight chapter six that the above places are useful for particular problems if the problem should be laid down partially and not universally 
all the above mentioned universal places confirmatory or subversive are useful for when we subvert or confirm universally we also demonstrate particularly since if a thing is present with every it is also present with a certain one and if with none neither is it with any one notwithstanding those places are above all opportune and common which are assumed from opposites coordinates and cases for it is similarly probable to assume if every pleasure is good that all pain likewise is an evil and if a certain pleasure is good that a certain pain also is an evil yet more if a certain sense is not a power a certain privation of sense also is not impotence and if a certain thing being the subject of opinion is also that of science a certain opinion also is science again if anything unjust is good something just also is evil and if anything done justly is an evil something done unjustly is good also if something pleasant is to be avoided a certain pleasure is to be avoided on this account too if anything pleasant is profitable a certain pleasure is profitable in things corruptive also and in generations and corruptions in like manner for if anything which is corruptive of pleasure or science is good a certain pleasure or science would be of the number of things evil similarly also if a certain corruption of science be among the number of good things or a generation be among evil things a certain science will be amongst things evil for instance if to forget the base acts a person has committed is among things good or to remember them is amongst things evil to know the base acts which any one has perpetrated will be amongst evils it is the same also with the others for in all there is similar probability moreover there is a place from the more and the less and the similarly for if any one thing of those from another genus is more such but no one of those is such neither will what was mentioned be such e g if a certain science is more a good than pleasure but no science is good neither will pleasure be and in the same way from the similarly and the less for both to subvert and to confirm will be possible except that we may do both from the similarly but from the less only confirm and not subvert for if a certain power is similarly good and science but a certain power is good a certain science also is but if no power neither is science still if a certain power is less a good than science but a certain power is good science also is on the other hand if no power is good it is not necessary also that no science should be good wherefore we can evidently only confirm from the less notwithstanding we may not only subvert from another genus but also from the same by assuming what is especially such as if it is admitted that a certain science is good but it should be shown that prudence is not good neither will any other be since what especially seems good is not so once more from hypothesis when in the same way it is assumed that if a thing is present or not with one it is also or not with all as if the soul of man is immortal that other souls also are but if this is not that neither are the others if indeed then a thing is assumed present with a certain one it must be proved not present with a certain one since it will follow through the hypothesis that it is present with nothing but if it is laid down not present with any we must show that it is present with some one for thus it will follow that it is present with all indeed it is evident that he who makes this hypothesis makes the problem universal 
which was laid down as particular for he requires that to be acknowledged universal which was allowed to be particular since if it is present with one he assumes it similarly present with all the problem then being indefinite it is possible to subvert it in one way as if a person said that pleasure is good or not good and added nothing else in the definition for if he said that a certain pleasure is good we must show universally that no pleasure is if the proposition is to be subverted in like manner also if he said that a certain pleasure is not good we must show universally that all is for otherwise subversion is impossible since if we have shown that a certain pleasure is not good or that it is good the proposition is not yet subverted it is evident then that subversion is possible in one way but confirmation in two for both whether we show universally that all pleasure is good or that a certain pleasure is good the proposition will have been proved likewise if it should be required to be argued that a certain pleasure is not good if we have proved that no pleasure is good or that a certain one is not good we shall have argued in both ways both universally and particularly that a certain pleasure is not good the thesis indeed being defined it will be possible to subvert in two ways as if it should be laid down that good is present with a certain pleasure but with a certain pleasure is not present since whether all pleasure or no pleasure be proved good the proposition will be subverted still if it has been admitted that one pleasure only is good subversion is possible in three ways for by showing that all or that none or that more pleasures than one are good we shall have subverted the proposition nevertheless the thesis having been defined to a greater extent as that prudence alone of the virtues is a science subversion is possible in four ways for it having been shown that every virtue is science or that none or that some other is a science as justice or that prudence itself is not a science the proposition will have been subverted it is also useful to attend to singulars in which something was said to be inherent or not as in universal problems again we must look to genera dividing according to species as far as to individuals as we observed before for whether a thing appears present with every or with none the opponent must be required by him who has adduced many things to acknowledge universally or to bring an objection in what thing it is not so besides in what things it is possible to define accident whether in species or in number it must be considered if no one of these is present as that time is not moved and that neither is it motion having enumerated how many species of motion there are since if not one of these is present with time it is evidently not moved neither is it motion likewise also if we wish to show that the soul is not number we must prove by division every number is either odd or even as if the soul is neither odd nor even it is clearly not number for accident then we must argue through such places as these and in such a manner end of chapter six of book three recording in memory of mitchell edwards